Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am Colorado Kate and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Today we're here to talk about the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I have one, um, the other one just, it was just a little too pink for my taste. Um, it was just really like pinks and purples and... I don't really want like a purple highlight on my face. Um, so I did pick up this one. This one is the uh, That Glow Kit. And it has four giant, I mean giant. These are like as big as the Becca highlight pans. I mean, let's just compare. Mm. These are all really great because they are huge pans. You get a lot for what you pay for. This palette was $40 exactly. And I know that Anastasia came out with illuminators uh like so hollywood and all those other ones i never really saw anything that intrigued me enough to buy one especially because people were saying that the formula was a little bit more dry so i just it's i want my highlighters to be buttery and holy holy crap these are buttery. They're pigmented. They're everything that I would have wanted the illuminators to be. Extremely similar in formula to the Becca highlighters. So there are four shades in this glow kit. First we have Sunburst, which is this nice white yet with a yellow undertone highlight. This is probably one of my favorites out of the kit just because it matches my skin tone the best. I know that a lot of people were saying that this, uh, that glow kit, or the one that I have, is for darker skin tones, but personally, this is an awesome highlight on my skin tone. Next, we have Golden Bronze, which is a dark, it's almost, you could almost use this as a contour shade if it wasn't so shimmery. This is definitely not a highlight for myself. So this is actually what I have on my eyes today. For people that are my skin tone and lighter, this is an awesome eyeshadow shade. I know it's not targeted or marketed as an eyeshadow. You can use anything as an eyeshadow if you really try. I mean, there's no rules in makeup. Or When I got this palette, I looked at this color and I thought that I would have no use for it. But today on my eyelids, I think it looks beautiful. Next we have Bubbly, which is a mid-toned, kind of a still a light uh, highlight color for my skin tone. What's great about these formulas is they are super buttery, but they aren't as wabam in your face. This is actually what I have on today as my highlight. I love this color, and the next one I'm about to show you is extremely similar. Lastly, we have Dripping in Gold. This is very similar to Bubbly, but it is a little bit more of a darker tone, and it is definitely has more of a champagne color in there. But again, the formula is awesome. Awesome, awesome for these highlighters. I really couldn't have asked for more. It does, they are a little bit more of a subtle highlight, which I'm not complaining about. Um, I have my Becca highlighters. I have that bam, like pops of highlight if I really want them, but it's also nice on more natural days just to have a, you know, a swipe of a pretty natural but more of a shimmery highlight. So I really like them. This is sunburst right here on my hand, and I know it, it, it does look more white, but it does have a, a pale yellow undertone to it. This is Golden Bronze, the one I am wearing on my eyelids right now. Uh, like I said before, I would not use this as a contour shade. But oh my gosh, as an all-over lid color. <sighs> yes. The third one on my hand right here is Bubbly, and as you can see, it is definitely more pink than Sunburst. Um, it is still light, and I my skin tone can still wear it as a highlight, but it is definitely more of a pinky champagne color. And this last one on my hand right here is Dripping in Gold. This is probably one of my favorite ones. It is similar to Bubbly, but it does have more gold properties in it. Now moving on to dupes, if you only like one shade in this palette or if you think $40 is a lot to fork out just for one highlight palette, then I would say save your money, especially if you only like one color. There's no point in spending $40 if you just like one color in the palette. 
So I came up with a couple of dupes for these highlighters. Some of them are drugstore and some of them are a little bit more high end, but very similar in formula and color. So the first dupe for Sunburst is uh, Becca Pearl. Now, if you just want to save your money, if you love this highlight the most, just go get Pearl because it's very similar. It's a little bit more white than Sunburst is. Sunburst does have a little bit more of a yellow undertone, but again, very similar. And the formula is extremely similar. Something that is extremely similar to Golden Bronze is actually in a palette. I could not find a dupe for this in any of my bronzers because these this is just not a bronzing shade. Um, it really looks best on your on your eyelid, and so naturally my dupe that I have is in a palette. So these are the two dupes that I have. This is Golden Bronze, and this shade right here is called Caramel, and this is in the uh, Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. They are extremely similar in finish and color and in texture, so I, my recommendation would just to get the palette because you have so much more to work with than just this giant thing as an eyeshadow. So the top one is Caramel from... Uh, the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. The bottom one is Golden Bronze. So next we have Bubbly, and I do have an awesome dupe for this. So the dupe I found for this is Champagne Pop. Um, Champagne Pop is maybe a little bit more champagne-y than that one is, but again, the formula is extremely similar and the color is almost identical. This is Bubbly and this is Champagne Pop just side by side. And this is the comparison on my hand. The top one is Champagne Pop and the bottom one is Bubbly. So you can see they're extremely metallic and extremely similar in color. The last dupe I have is for Dripping in Gold. Believe it or not, this is the dupe for it. I know it looks nothing like it in the pan. This is the Fergie Wet n Wild highlight in Hollywood Boulevard. This is so funny to me. Look at it side by side nothing alike. <laughs> okay, so the top one is Hollywood Boulevard and the bottom one is Dripping in Gold. And you can see, even even though they don't look similar in the pan, the color, the formula, the color payoff, how pigmented they are, it is exactly the same. And this one, I believe, is maybe around five or six dollars. Save yourself some money instead of buying the palette and get this. So overall, I love this palette. I think it has great pigmentation. I think that the colors are absolutely beautiful and you can get a lot of use out of every single color in this palette. You re I mean, regardless of light skin tones, you can make every single, uh, every single highlight in this palette work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.